Hello everyone, welcome to my another video. Today we discuss about special MCQ for upcoming Norset 2023. This is part 3. For more important MCQ on nursing subjects, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Question number 21. A client has edema in the lower extremities during the day which disappears at night. In which medical problem this clinical finding is present? Option A. Pulmonary edema B. Myocardial infarction C. Right ventricular heart failure D. Chronic obstructive lung disease Right answer is Option C. Right ventricular heart failure Right ventricular heart failure causes increased pressure in the systemic venous system which leads to a fluid shift into the interstitial spaces. Because of gravity, the lower extremities are first affected in an ambulatory client. Next question. Growth chart is also known as Option A. New Baller Scale B. Road to Health Chart C. Abgar Score D. GCS Score Right answer is Option B. Road to Health Chart A growth chart is used by pediatricians and other healthcare providers to follow a child's growth over time. Next question. A client is scheduled for a colonoscopy and the healthcare provider orders a tap water enema. In which position should the nurse place the client during the enema? Option A. Left seams B. Back lying C. Knee chest D. Meat fowler Right answer is Option A. Left seams to take advantage of the anatomic position of the sigmoid colon and the effect of gravity, the client should be placed in the left seams or left side lying position for the enema. Next question. A client with a tuberculosis reports difficulty hearing. Which medication should the nurse consider is related to this response? Option A. Streptomycin B. Pyrazinamide C. Isoniazide D. Ethambutol Right answer is Option A. Streptomycin Autotoxicity is an adverse effect of aminoglycosides such as streptomycin. Next question. Delayed dentition is most characteristic of Option A. Mongolism B. Milia C. Cretinism D. Malnutrition Right answer is Option C. Cretinism Cretinism is disease of hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism leads to impaired development of the growing fetus and leads to mental retardation and stunted growth. Next question. A healthcare provider prescribes a vitamin tablet that contains vitamin B complex. What should the nurse teach the client? Option A. It may turn the urine bright yellow. B. The daily fluid intake should be increased. C. The drug should be taken on an empty stomach. D. It may accumulate in the body if an excessive amount is taken. Right answer is It may turn the urine bright yellow. 
Bright yellow urine is an expected insignificant side effect of vitamin B complex. There is no need to increase oral fluids. The client may consume the usual daily intake of fluid. When vitamin B complex tablet taken on empty stomach, it may precipitate nausea. Therefore, it should be taken with food. Vitamin B complex is a water-soluble vitamin and excess amounts are excreted in urine. Next question. What is the ideal temperature of the newborn resuscitation room? Option A. 37 to 39 degrees Celsius B. 32 to 34 degrees Celsius C. 28 to 30 degrees Celsius D. 25 to 27 degrees Celsius Right answer is Option D. 25 to 27 degrees Celsius Immediately after birth, the newborn is at high risk for hypothermia. The temperature of delivery room should be 25 to 27 degrees Celsius and it should be free from draft of air. Next question. What clinical finding indicates to a nurse that a client may have hypokalemia. Option A edema, B muscle spasms, C cosmal breathing, D abdominal distension. Hypokalemia diminishes the magnitude of the neuronal and muscle cell resting potentials. Abdominal distension results from flaccidity of intestinal and abdominal musculature. Next question. Lecithin sphingomyelin ratio is done to assess the maturity of option A lung, B fetal circulation, C brain, D gonad. Right answer is option A lung. The lecithin sphingomyelin ratio is the traditional standard for fetal lung maturity testing. The risk of RDS is very low if the lecithin sphingomyelin ratio is greater than 2. Next question. Kangaroo mother care is necessary till baby attains a weight of option A 1500 gram, B 2000 gram, C 2500 gram, D 3000 gram. Right answer is Option C, 2500 gram. Kangaroo Mother Care, KMC, refers to the practice of providing continuous skin-to-skin -skin contact between mother and baby, exclusive breastfeeding, and early discharge from hospital. WHO recommends that KMC should be continued till baby attains a weight of 2.5 kg. So this is the today's video. Thank you so much for watching my video.